Scott, after Saturday's fantastic win at AFC Wimbledon, we face another home test against Doncaster Rovers tomorrow. How's the preparation been for that one? Yeah, good. Um, obviously, quick turnaround. So, um, you know, the players have had uh, plenty of opportunity to, to recover as well as they can. Um, we've debriefed the game um, and trained today to get prepared for, obviously, uh, what's going to be a tough game. Yeah, obviously, three home games coming up now. How important is it to sort of manage the squad? You know, with a lot of these games coming up, obviously we picked up two unfortunate injuries at the weekend as well. You know, are you sort of expecting any sort of changes to be made in the next few games? Well, yeah, probably because of them injuries. I think uh, they'll be forced kind of changes because of that. Um, but having said that, you know, when you've got kind of Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, I think you have to make changes anyway to keep kind of a freshness on the team, uh, on the pitch. Um, so, you know, regardless of kind of the injuries I picked up, there was going to be likely likely changes to be made anyway, just to, like I said, to keep everybody fresh. Um, that's why you have a squad, you know, and that's why you um, you have a squad because you, you know, you know you, there's going to be opportunities for all players to play. Um, and it's going to be a tough running, uh, looking at the fixtures we've got left. We've got 11 games left and there's going to be some real kind of tough uh, tough games and like I say they're going to come thick and fast as well um, in terms of you know Saturday, Tuesday so we need to make sure that we we keep everybody fresh and, and, and ready to play. Yeah we've spoken in recent weeks a lot about the psychological impact of you know some of the early losses in the season how much of a difference do you think Saturday's going to make you know having won our first two games in a row in, in such a long time? Well it's big you know it, it kind of like Gives the players confident, you know, confidence, you know, and I think, uh, especially, you know, winning away from home as well, um, our first away win, keeping a clean sheet as well is always big as well, you know. Um, but but it's, it's confident, um, it, you know, it builds confidence for the players, um, and you know, it, it makes the the feeling around the place a lot better than it has been. And what we've got to try and do is maintain that now uh, and take that into a real tough game tomorrow night um, and make sure that we you know we prepare properly um, and we're ready to go come kick off and, and we, we give everything we've got again you know um, like I say they're coming thick and fast and we've got to make sure that once one game's done and out of the way we're, we're getting ready for the next one and that's all we can do. It probably sounds a little bit cliche but how important are these sort of next three games I know you've said in the past Every game between now and the end of the season is important, but obviously, if you were to look at it in some ways, these are our games in hand, aren't they, over the sort of people that are around us in the table. So do you see them as important as the others, or no, are they no, just the same? I just think that, like you just said, that all games are important, whether they're Tuesdays or Saturdays or home or away, we're going to try and win every game. You know, Will we win every game? Probably not, but we're going to try and do that. We want to, like I said, we've got 11 games left. We want to try and get as many wins as we can. We want to try and do it as quick as we can to get away from that bottom two, from the trap door. Um, you know, the pleasing thing is, is we're out that bottom two now. But we've got to try and, you know, pull away now. Um, and with the games that we've got, um, you know, certainly the home games, this is a tough place to come, I know, because I've been here as an opposition opposition manager myself and it, it really is a tough place to come. So from my past experience, my own experience, I know what it's like to come here and be a, uh, and bring a team there. It's a really difficult place to come, and, and we're gonna, you know, we're gonna be making sure that um, come Tuesday night we're we're really ready and, and ready to go again. Yeah, we're gonna need to be ready, aren't we? Because obviously Doncaster, a very good side, as you've mentioned before, they're sort of in and around the playoffs. You know, a win on Tuesday night would sort of boost them, but I suppose we just need to focus on our sort of our own personal aims, don't we? Yeah, that, you know, I've really analysed the opposition in, in big detail, you know, over the past weeks and, you know, um, I'm now at the point where we need to concentrate on us more so um, than the opposition and um, and really concentrate on us and, and, and kind of have a way of, you know, finding these, these valuable three points and over the last two games we've done that but we've got to carry that on now. Yeah and finally obviously the fans are absolutely fantastic on Saturday. We've got another two at two game coming up on Saturday but obviously we're back in action before that tomorrow night. I suppose the message to them is just try and come out in your numbers and provide that same support as it clearly does make a difference. Uh, exactly right you know they were brilliant wasn't they on Saturday you know they sang all the way through the game um, 
and uh, it turned up in their numbers, you know, um, and we need more more of that, you know, we need that again tomorrow night, come in your numbers and, and sing all the way through the game, you know, um, like I've said before, we need them to stick with us, um, and they've been brilliant, so yeah, um, may that, you know, long may that continue. Thanks, Scott. Thank you.